Hi Leo, this is going to be your Twin Flame reading for July 2019 and if you would like to win a free reading with me, check out the description box below for more information on how you can enter. I do a giveaway every single month and if you would like to book a private paid reading, information will also be down below as well as information for my bracelets. I sell handmade bracelets, they are spiritually charged intention bracelets for different areas of your life so a link will be down in the description box for my Etsy so do check that out if you're interested and yeah let's get started so this is going to be for Leo July 2019 let's check up the twin flame situation also got the seven of swords which came out knight of swords with the nine of swords three of wands there's waiting that's happening in this situation for sure it's a lot of waiting I'm just gonna take a sip of my water yeah Okay, this is how it's going to resonate with you if it resonates with you. These readings will not all resonate with you. But what I'm seeing here is if you're waiting for your twin flame and they have hurt you in the past, then it will resonate with you. Because what I'm seeing here is that you are waiting, actively waiting. There has been heartbreak in this situation with this three of swords and you are waiting. Now you've got two threes here. Threes are about learning lessons. The universe wants you to learn not to wait. The universe wants you to be able to put all of this energy and time where you are waiting on someone to not wait on this person. Now, if you're not waiting for someone, this reading probably isn't going to resonate with you. If you're waiting for your twin flame and you're thinking about them day, night, you can't shift the energy off of this connection, then this is a reading I think is going to benefit you to watch because I'm seeing that the universe wants you to not wait on this person. The more you wait on this person, the more you feed them the energy, the more I feel they're just going to do whatever they want to do. That's what I'm seeing here. So this feeds their energy and what you need to do is feed your energy to yourself and that will help that will help this connection because what I'm seeing is that you still hold very strong feelings for this person but right now they're just doing their own thing they have to grow they have to mature and you want to make sure that you don't end up in this kind of an energy this is the nine of swords energy which is about overthinking not being in a good situation feeling like everything is just going out of whack you can't sleep you can't eat your focus is way too much on this connection you have to become a bit more detached and see the person for who they are it's very important I understand you probably have very strong feelings for this person but it's about making sure you're seeing things without rose tint without the rose tinted glasses on and you're seeing the person for who they are because it will help you to detach to detach now what ha happens can't even speak we're not even in a retrograde and I can't even speak, although, you know, no, we're not in a Mercury retrograde, but we are in lots of other retrogrades, Saturn, Jupiter, Neptune, <sighs> anyways, so what I am seeing is that you must shift this energy in, you know, twin flame connections, when you shift the energy off of someone, they can feel that shift and that allows them to come forward. That's what I'm seeing. You need to stop waiting and putting all your energy onto this person because this person can feel it and it just leads them to do whatever it is. They feel comfortable and secure that you will constantly give them that energy. What happens when you stop giving them all your energy, time and focus and when you detach from this, this whole situation and you just allow things to flow and you focus on yourself, they come forward. That's what happens. They come forward. Nine of Cups, a wish starts to manifest. Six of Wands coming forward to you, pursuing you. It's what happens in, in Twin Flame Connections. But both of you must be ready. You must have learnt these lessons and you know, grown to learn the lessons. The threes there, the two threes there is about learning lessons. Both of you have lessons to learn and until you don't learn those lessons, it's not possible to come together because they have lessons to learn. 
right? And you have lessons to learn. The big lesson you have to learn is to not put your energy so much onto one person because then that becomes codependency. You're not able to focus on other areas of your life. It becomes really heavy and toxic and negative. Love is not toxic and negative. Love is free. It is joyful. It is happy. It is bliss. And if you feel it is too much, you have to somehow detach and focus on yourself and give yourself that energy and only give this person as much energy as they are giving you. Nothing in your life that is meant to be for you will ever pass you by. So that is, you know, a mantra to really go by. It's a great affirmation. We've also got death here, which shows an enormous transformation, not just within your twin flame and these lessons that are going to be learnt, but also within yourself. There are lessons here that have to be learnt by both of you. Remember, you're in a twin flame connection. Oftentimes, you guys mirror each other. So it's about learning these lessons, both of you you know, learning these lessons. Things will come together, I feel, when lessons have been learnt. So transformation needs to happen and then this pursuing will start to happen and the less energy you give this person, the more they will start to pursue you because you have the runners and the chasers in a twin flame connection. Just trying to get the last card out here. All right. that's what needs to happen and then look two of cups things will only come together once lessons have been learned now for July what I'm seeing is that everybody is on a very different path you know no two people in a twin flame connection you know couples wise you're all on different paths so for some of you it's about learning these lessons and detaching and only giving this person as much energy as they give you for others of you, it's about having gone through this transformation and just sticking to your own energy and just being the person that you are and allowing things to manifest naturally. And for others of you, you will start to see your twin flame come towards you and you will start to see things opening up. So again, everybody is on different paths. So again, it depends where you're at in this connection to justify what's going to happen next, which I just explained. So for those of you that are ready, things will manifest. Your twin flame will start pursuing you, but this is also a low amount of energy that you're giving your twin flame, which is also very important to mention. Seven of Wands shows obstacles will be overcome. So you see this person here really struggling, but still moving forward. It shows overcoming obstacles, getting past obstacles and moving forward. The Two of Cups here shows a union. A union is possible. Again, both of you must, must be on the same page. You must be giving each other equal energy. As I mentioned, only give this person as much as they are giving you. It's a very important message and lesson that is so, so important and things will come together in divine timing. And for some of you that are ready and have gone through these lessons, have gone through all of these challenges and obstacles and, you know, your twin flame is feeling much better, but then so are you and you've detached and you've really been able to work on yourself and spiritually give yourself a lot of that energy, I see a union. I see them approaching you. I see them reaching out to you and really just communicating that they, they love you, they want you, and there's a union, a sense of a union. The moon card here is about, you know, feelings. It's about seeing the light in darkness. It's also about focusing on yourself and your intuition. You know, you're very intuitive, but it's also, again, connecting the moon here to this hermit energy, which is ruled by Virgo. It's very much so about using this light to guide your path. Think about yourself first, put yourself number one, put that energy into yourself, focus on your goals, your hobbies, your dreams, your aspirations and you know that is what I'm seeing for you Leo, that things will evolve but again it depends what kind of a connection you're in and how far you know you are in it to determine what will happen in July because this reading has given multiple messages as to what is going to happen. For those of you that are ready there is a union coming but there are also lessons to be learned for many of you that are still stuck in this kind of a cycle where there has been past hurt. There are lessons that need to be learned to move forward. So Leo, this is your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. If this resonated with your situation, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and check out the description box below for information on private readings, so the paid private readings, the free reading giveaway, 
and my bracelets which are on Etsy. You can also follow me on Instagram, the link will be in the description box below and I hope you all have a lovely day uh, or night, wherever you are. Take care everyone. Bye!